This is CNN Breaking News. All right, you're looking at the Bristol Superior Courthouse in Fall River, Massachusetts. We understand a verdict has been reached in the Aaron Hernandez murder trial. Now, the jury has been deliberating for seven long days. Everybody was surprised by, by how long this process has taken. But again, we're getting word a verdict has been reached. Joining me now, Jean Casares and also um, our CNN legal analyst, Danny Savalos. Thanks to both of you for being here. Um, we also have Mel Robbins. Hi, Mel. We're getting people together as fast as we can. Thanks so much. We also have Susan hey, Candiotti, but she's inside the courthouse right now awaiting that verdict, and she'll run out as soon as we have it. So seven days of deliberations. Mel, I'll start with you. Why did it take so long? And um, is there any clue into, uh, is there any clue in that as to what this verdict might be? Not necessarily, Carol. Good morning. Um, you know, just yesterday I was on with Paul Callen and we were both uh, pretty convinced that there would be a hung jury. So the fact that there is a verdict is very interesting. There have been many uh, very famous cases that have been out for seven days, eight days, nine days. And so it's anybody's guess at this point whether we're going to see a conviction or an acquittal on the murder charges. And of course, what we're looking at is there's murder one, which would require the, the prosecutor to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that there was either planning or that there was such uh, cruelty to the killing that to find him guilty. There's also murder two, which does not require the planning aspect. And then we're also looking at a possession of a weapon and ammunition charges as well. So it'll be interesting to see what happens, Carol.